guys, my name is Ange Guevara and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a very exciting video. I'm going to be doing my February favorites. I know this video is pretty late, but you know what they say, better late than ever. Um, and I still, like, I know it's late, but I still wanted to get it out there because I feel like I did have some really good favorites this month. I have some makeup product favorites and then I do have some not makeup products. Um, I thought I would just incorporate everything that I was loving for the month. Um, make sure to like and subscribe for weekly videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's get into it. Okay, so for the first product, I feel like I already showed this in my monthly favorites for January, but I am still loving the Essence blushes. Um, they are just so affordable. I think they're like two or three dollars and they give you such a nice tint to the cheek. I really, really love these blushes. They go on so smooth. They blend out so nice. Like they are really good and affordable. Then next I have ColourPop's Super Shock Cheek, like the highlighter, um, in Wisp. And this is actually my first time trying out ColourPop's Super Shock formula and it is crazy buttery. Like it is so nice. When I felt it for the first time I was like oh my god. Like it is crazy. It's like dipping your finger into like a cloud. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it like reminds me of. It is just so nice. As a highlighter they look great. I love this formula so much and I'm going to be picking up more for sure. Then next I have the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Powder. I think they are discontinuing this. I am not too sure but I do love it. If you have oily skin this is a great matte loose setting powder like and it smells so nice. It does have more like a peachy tint to it but for me, I do have cool undertones, so this fits my skin perfectly. So I would keep that in mind, but it is a great loose setting powder. And I, I know they have a sale going on it right now. I'm not too sure if it'll still be going on when I post this video, but I would definitely check out their website. I have another loose setting powder. It is by Wet n Wild. It is the Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. This is so affordable. I want to say it's like $5. I'm not too sure though. But it is so good. It goes on the skin and it does. Like it really does blur the skin. Like I feel like all the claims on this are true. Like it sets in your makeup so nicely. Like when I put it on I was like, like so surprised by how great of a job it did. I love how it has my makeup looking for the rest of the day. It really does set it in place and it makes your makeup last and it looks photo focused. Like it looks so good. Then next we are going to go into, I have another Too Faced product. I feel like Too Faced for me is such a hit or miss. Some products I really love and I feel like they're like my holy grails and then other stuff like I'm like what the heck are you doing. But I do love their concealer as well. I have had it for a bit but I feel like lately I've just been going towards it. Um, I think it does a really great job at giving you that great coverage but also like being very blendable and it's very smooth and it looks really nice under the eyes in my opinion. Like I genuinely just really like this one. Um, it does say super coverage for it and I feel like it is definitely true. Like it really is a great like coverage concealer. I like the color I have as well. I feel like it really accents the under eyes and it really highlights them and it makes them look very nice. I have the color snow in it by the way but Obviously, it just varies on your skin tone. And then next, this is a very like new favorite, but I loved it so much when I tried it out that I had to incorporate it into this video. It is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I have the shade F4. It has amazing coverage in it. I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of coverage it has. I feel like it covers up everything that it needs to cover up. It is just so amazing and I don't know, I was honestly like I was very pleasantly surprised. And I also like the applicator on it as well. Um, 
It's just like a big doe foot, but I feel like it really puts the product on very nicely. And I don't know, I just really like the applicator of this. But yes, if you are looking for a full coverage foundation, I would definitely give this a try. I have oily skin and I really love it. I want to say it's more of like a matte kind of finished. Um, at least that's what it looks like for me when I have tried it on. But I feel like it just also depends on the primer and the setting powder and all of that. But I do really like this one. Then next I have another foundation. This one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. I really love this one as well. It kind of has a similar applicator though. I like the Makeup Revolution one a little bit better. This one is just kind of like a plastic stick. <laughs> I guess you can say that's kind of what it is. Um... So I do like the Makeup Revolution one better, but this is also a great affordable foundation. I think this is like $5 as well. It doesn't have as much coverage as this one because this one is a full coverage foundation. But this one I also really like the coverage on as well. And I feel like it's more of a natural finish, but it gives your face such a great finish. It says it's photo focused. And I really feel like this line from Wet n Wild is really like photo focus. Like it makes your skin look f like filtered. It just like it really does look great. And I think it has like the perfect amount of coverage. I will say this one's more of my everyday foundation. Whereas this one is more of like oh I'm going out kind of foundation. But both of these are really great foundations. It's just kind of depending on what you're looking for. Then next I have a Milani Peach Scented Make It Last Setting Spray. I already like the Make It Last line. I have the regular one and I have the matte one. I love both of them. This one, honestly, I just really love the peach smell. It smells so good. Spritzer is a bit different from this one. It's a little bit more light and airy and I love the smell to it, but this one is also a great one. And again, I love the matte one as well. That one is probably more of my go-to because I like finish better. I love matte products. So for me, that's the finish I go for and I feel like it really does make your makeup last. And next I have the Viral Sky High Maybelline Last Mascara. Mine is a little ugly I will admit um, but this mascara really lengthens your lashes. It has your lashes looking so long volumized like I think this is like a perfect mascara. Like I hate falsies. I honestly get very aggravated trying to put them on. So I have taken a break from trying to put them on. Though I want to get in a better habit of using them. It is so good. And again it just really lengthens your lashes. It gives you that falsy looking lash without using those falsies. And I really like these. Then next I have the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. I have the shade Flower which I really love and I am honestly not too sure on how to zip it up push it up if you can because it is like dull and it needs to be but I honestly have no idea how to do that if you can't do that then I take this away from being my favorites but this is such a good liner it is so creamy and it goes on so nicely on your lips like it is not that too creamy formula where it's like going everywhere. I feel like it's like the perfect amount of creaminess that you want from your lip liner. And honestly, I just really love this color as well. This is what it looks like. It is so pretty. Just a really great formula. It is so perfect for outlining the lip. Okay, and this is also like a random find. But I got it at TJ Maxx for literally $3.99 and it is such a nice brush. I didn't even think about getting brushes at TJ Maxx. I was just there and I actually needed one and I seen it and so I grabbed it. And it is so nice. It is the one by Precision Beauty. But I really love this and again it was only $3.99 and it really brushes your hair so nice. Then these are makeup remover wipes. I know Neutrogena has been around for forever but I have such sensitive skin so if you do as well I think these are the best makeup wipes to get. I got like just cause sometimes I'm very cheap and 
I got the Equate Sensitive Skin Makeup Remover Wipes and those are not for sensitive skin. Though it says they are, they're really not. Like, I, when I try to, like, when I close my eyes to just get off my eyeshadow, literally my whole eyes is, my whole eye is closed to get it off. And it, like, burns my eyes. It is so bad. I, like, I couldn't. These ones are really weird to go. I feel like I do try to get the TJ Maxx ones as well, like when I'm there I'll pick up one, but I feel like they just don't, like it's not worth it. These ones are what, not even that much more. Obviously it's cheaper if you get the big pack of them rather than the single packets. Um, but I think these ones are definitely the way to go. And then I have another product which I actually just finished it out so I'm so sad. This is the e.l.f. Gentle Peeling Exfoliant. I love this one. It is um, like a physical exfoliant. You're going to get that dry skin and all that stuff. It's going to pop up while you're rubbing it in. I really do like this one though. I think it does a great job at exfoliating the skin. It really gets all of that dead skin off. I use it two to three times a week, which is what it recommends. And I really do think it really deep cleans the skin really well for me. Last two products go hand in hand with each other. So this is the John Frieda. I have the Violet Crush. And I have the conditioner and the shampoo. I only get it for the bottom half of my hair because the bottom half is the blonde part. But it does so good at getting that brassiness out of your hair literally the first wash that you use it like when I haven't used it in a bit to be honest with you um there's my cat um I haven't used it in a little bit which I should because I do have that brassiness look to my hair um, it definitely does give you that cooler blonde looking and now you are here yay so this is my dog. You okay, mama? Oh, you are so. So yes, the John Frieda, the both of these, the Violet Crushed, they go hand in hand. They really do give you that cooler, blonder looking hair, literally in one wash. These are actually both my second bottle of this. I just love it so much. And I think depending on where you go, it's like 7 to 9 maybe $11 at Ulta, but I usually get mine from Walmart. I did grab my second pair from there, and it was a bit more. Um, so I would just recommend going to Walmart because they're cheaper. Yeah, so that is it for this favorite videos. Again, sorry it is so late in the month and posting it. I still wanted to get it up, but I just felt like I always had like a bunch of videos to get in this beginning of the month. Um, oh, I just wanted to get those up first, but here it is finally my February favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do genuinely like all the products that I have. Hopefully, hopefully you found one that you want to try or that you love just as much as well. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I will be posting beauty videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Bye guys.